there folks foam king here all right you guys uh you got the intro there you got to see what this microphone sounds like on the radio at the other end um my truck was parked down at the end of the driveway which is a quarter mile away from uh, from this here from this base station here i mean uh, i i think i think it's, it's a good representation of what it would sound like over the air um, hopefully um, i have been getting good comments and stuff so Hopefully, uh, you can kind of get an idea from that, what uh, what this thing sounds like. All right, um, I'm going to get into this review. Uh, I'm going to start with, uh, you know, the microphone itself. Uh, this thing is is constructed really well. It's, uh, it's very rugged. It's heavy. Uh, it's all metal. Everything here is made of metal. Uh, all parts of this is metal. There's no plastic in this other than the knobs that's it, and, the, and the push to talk button. There is no plastic in this. Uh, it's got the nice classic uh, uh, mic head here from the, you know, back in the radio days. It's kind of cool. So, um, you know, this thing, I, I ain't kidding when I say it's, it's well built. I could literally throw this around the room here and on the floor and, and you know, this, this thing could withstand anything. This thing is really, really tough. You know, you, 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 you wouldn't want to throw this at anybody because you'd really, really hurt them. <laughs> so um, with the construction, this here, this, this microphone is, is tops. And I'm going to say that about it right here. Um, now, uh, I've, I've owned this mic for about uh, six weeks now. And I've been putting it through its paces, uh, getting a lot of comments from people locally and long distance. And um, the other day... Uh, I'd say, no, I'm not the other. I'd say about a week ago, I took this thing apart because I'm planning to do a modification to it. Um, I have the Ranger RCI 2995DXCF. This is the one with the cooling fan. And it comes with a stock mic, this here. This is the stock mic right here. Let me see if you guys can see this. Okay, on the side here, it has up and down button. And... Uh, I've, had, I've used this for about three months, and you know, your boy, you know, I got spoiled. I really, really got spoiled with this microphone. So uh, I opened this one up to see if I could modify this to put two push-to-talk, well, not push-to-talk, two uh, momentary switches in there, one for up and one, one for down, or one for down and one for up, whichever way. And it turns out there's a ton of room in here, a um, ton of room to, to do modifications. Um, uh, I've seen videos of guys that have uh, modified these here with um, echo boards and stuff like that, which is a little beyond more than I'd like to do. But anyway, they had enough room that they could do that and, and put it in this microphone. So that's kind of cool. So uh, keep an eye out, guys, because in the next week or two, maybe within the three weeks tops, um, I'll be doing that modification and I will be video uh, videotaping uh, and taping the whole process and then I'll be uploading that for you guys so um, all right let's get into the microphone itself now a little deeper here uh, it comes with a, a modulation meter um, uh, yeah well you know I don't I'm not sure the accuracy of this thing uh, I have a modulation meter here on my uh, on my uh, my power scanner here 
and uh, it has to be calibrated. And, and that's how you know it's accurate, because it has to be calibrated. This here, you can't calibrate. It. It's just whatever it is here, you know, you have to trust that that's the proper modulation. And it doesn't jive with the meter, uh, with the meter up here. They don't, they don't jive. So, I, you know, I don't know how accurate this thing really is. Um, the other two features that it has, it has a, a tone button here, this here, and it has a modulation button here. The tone button... Uh, let me start from the beginning on as far as the tone is concerned. Uh, this mic is very tinny. Uh, it sounds very tinny. Uh, it's, it's very likened to a D104, which also sounds very tinny. Uh, tinny mics are great on sideband because they punch through the noise, but uh, they're not very pleasant to the ear. So, you know, you, you, you know, it's just the way those kind of microphones are. So... I've got the tone here all the way down to add as much bass as I can possibly get in here. And uh, and so it's down all the way to one. The modulation knob I keep between five and eight. Um, if you go any higher than eight, it, it, it just, it, you over modulate and it just sounds really terrible. Yeah, it just does. So you, you want to keep it within there. And if you have an R, uh, and are a, a mic gain on your on your radio you want to you want to keep that all the way up let the radio do its thing and then let this just be your 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 way of adjusting your your modulation and keep yourself within range all right uh, the next thing we need to talk about is this big big red button here that's your pusher talk um, it's got it's got two functions this here uh, you can key down with it and if you keep it to the left and just key down, it pops right back up, okay? Um, and then if you bring it over to here and key down, no, actually you key down and bring it over, that locks it into place and it keeps it keyed up. Um, it may sound like a great feature, but if you don't release it properly, it stays stuck. And then you'll be wondering why your radio is not working. Well, that's what happened to me and it annoyed the hell out of me. This happened about 10 times, maybe even more. Then when I took it apart, uh, I found that the, there was a fi quick fix to that. There's a little tab under there. You clip it, and this thing no longer sticks. Now, obviously, if you like that feature, you wouldn't want to do that. You're, you'd want to leave it alone as it is and enjoy that feature. It annoyed the heck out of me. And if it's, if it's something that you think is going to annoy you or you buy the mic and you think it's annoying and it's annoying you, uh, it takes you, it won't take you but a few seconds to clip that off. It'll take you longer to disassemble this thing because this thing is really put together really well and it takes a, it takes a bit of a, bit of a, you know, process to remove everything and get this thing opened up. Uh, then you can just clip it and you'll be fine. All right. So, the uh, next thing I want to get into, well, actually, what I want to do is, uh, you know, if you guys like uh, like this content, you like this video, uh, since you stuck with me this far, I figured you, uh, you'd be interested in, uh, in, in, in seeing more. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like, and like it and, and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And, um, and if you have any comments or questions, by all means, go ahead, put, them, put them down below there, and, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can on that. So, uh, that would really help me out a lot. All right, there. All right, let's get into the next next thing uh, about this microphone. Uh, you have two ways to power this microphone. Uh, nine volt battery, which I'm using right now with this here, or this here power supply. Um, the power supply I, I'm not using uh, for two reasons. One, the cable is too short. It, excuse me, it's only two feet long. And uh, underneath my bench is where I have the power strip, and it's almost on my floor. So by the time I run this from there, this is about as close as I can get the mic to my face. And, and that's kind of far. I mean, it'll pick you up, but you really want it to be within, within 13 to 15 inches like that. So um, I, what I do is I use the 9-volt battery, and that gives me more freedom more freedom to, to move this around wherever it is that I needed to do to go uh, and the second thing about the power supply is, is uh, I've never I haven't tried it as you can see I haven't unwrapped it but I haven't bothered because I've read several reviews that said uh, that if you use this here uh, power supply uh, th there's an audible hum that comes through to the people that are hearing you 
So I'm assuming that this thing is really noisy and, and that it's going through the microphone and it's being transmitted out. So, you know, take that as it is. Um, I don't use the power supply. Uh, I use the 9-volt battery. And uh, anybody that's had a, a D104, and I've had, I've had two of them, uh, knows that a, a one 9-volt battery could last up anywhere between six months and a year. So, you know, it, it hardly uses any juice on, on a 9-volt battery. All right, now I want to get into the cons, okay? Uh, first is, and I've already kind of touched on it, is the annoying switch, push to talk switch. Uh, to me, it's annoying. Um, so uh, you you may say, "Oh, well, that's not a big deal," which is fine if, if that's if it's something that you're, it's a feature that you're looking for. Uh, if you're a long-winded talker and you don't want to be holding the button down, you could do it that way. Uh, for me, it's annoying. So. I modify that as easily, easily fixed if, if it's something that you, you don't want to have. And, uh, and, and the next, the next uh, con is uh, these micro, this is a power microphone. Um, if you've got any experience with these here, XLR um, condenser mics, condenser mics, um, you'll, you, you, you'll know that these things are the same. They pick up every bit of sound uh, right now i'm my base station has two fans one in the switcher uh, power supply and the other one in the uh, amplifier uh, section then i've got a computer under my bench here that has 12 fans in it and then behind me i have a through the wall air conditioner that's blaring too so you guys are probably all picking that up and that all gets transmitted and, and you know, you can you can mitigate that by shutting the AC off. Uh, if I'm just talking on the radio, I can shut my computer off, but I can't shut my radio off and talk. So you've, you're still going to pick up those fans, and uh, there's no way around that. It's just something you have to live with. All right, and then the third and last con is uh, it's expensive. Uh, I paid $170 for this. I got it off of Amazon, and. Uh, Thank God I had Prime, so my shipping was free. But still, it's expensive. Uh, from what I understand, compared to an old Turner and a D104, uh, you can get them for a lot less. Um, so I just wanted to touch on those cons. So those those are those are the things that I dislike about this unit. But um, I'm going to rate this, and, I, and, and I'm going to rate this honestly, uh, even considering the cons. Uh, the pros way outweigh them by eight to ten. So I'm going to give. I'm going to rate this an eight out of ten. Definitely eight out of ten. Yeah, right there, folks. Um, getting ready to wrap this here up. Um, check out. Uh, check out these here videos. I've got one is a is a is a uh, playlist to uh, the 20 foot mast and antenna mast and pole that I uh, that I uh, do it yourself a kind of job that I that I did for. Uh, for for my radio station here and um i also have another card here another video the, is the unboxing of this here unit you get to you get to hear some people that helped me uh, set it up and one of the people that uh, helped set me up is a local here he actually has the same exact microphone and the same exact radio that i have and you get to hear what he sounds like and this is kind of how this microphone sounds okay so Without further ado, Whiskey Charlie Niner Double Six, Central Florida. Sending my 73s. Foam King out.